production efficiency. Well, that is fine. Let's do that. Alright, let's see. Can I get a decent peace deal with you? To all your money. Take war reparations. I even humiliate you. What does that do? That doesn't work. Can I take a province? Ooh, don't want that. Could make him release Tyrone. He should end rivalry with it's not gonna happen. Hmm. I want to ask you, what is the language of Holland the difference of Dutch between Belgium? Well, it depends on who you ask. If you ask a Dutchman what the difference is, he will give you a different answer than when you ask someone from Belgium what the difference is. But, um, well, we speak Dutch in the Netherlands, and Holland is a part of the Netherlands, so we speak Dutch. But we have little differences between where you live. So when I go to a different province, people will sound a little differently. Most words are the same, but it's just a little different. But the biggest difference between people in Holland who speak Dutch and the people in Flanders who speak Dutch in Belgium is that usually they're behind a bit in the development of their language so they still use words that we used 20 years ago we're using new words they're still using the old words and that also means usually that we believe that they just talk nicer in a nicer fashion i like it when they talk and there are also different dialects of course Right, let's get Calais, that's what we wanted. And we don't get too much aggressive expansion. Perfect. That's good. Let's core it as soon as we can. We can't right now. No, nope, I won't get you passing in my land. Don't want that. But yeah, Dutch is Holland's language. It's our language. And I like it. It's nice. Well, that's most to gain there, so let's do it there. Human dialects. Well, we have quite a few different ones in, in Holland. If you go to Friesland in the north and you go talk to people there, I don't have a clue what they're saying. Because it's they can they can talk in such a different language, but Usually if I go to Vlaanderen, Flanders, uh, my sister-in-law lives there, I can understand them and they can understand me, although you have to put in a little effort. But you should experience it yourself, I guess. Just come here and enjoy it, all those different languages. Alright, so we should save up some money, get colonialism spread out. Oh, we already embraced it. Not. No, we didn't embrace it. I want to embrace it though. It did spread out nicely, so that's good. But it's probably the same as in England. If you go to different parts of England, they will speak different types of English. And although I do speak a bit of English, I, I can't understand the Scotchman, so... 
Same in Holland. Someone in Friesland is really talking their language. I don't have a clue what they're saying. Oh, I could integrate that. That would be. That book is plenty more money. Let's check who's unhappy the clergy. Well, let's make the clergy happy. They're happy. Do you know Hermannelich song? No, but that sounds German, not Dutch. Not sure, but that's how it sounds. Our mama. No, I don't know that. Is that a song worth listening to? Should I write it down and find it on YouTube and then listen to it? Or not really sure. True, true. In German, that's that's also tough. My brother lives in Switzerland now, and well, that's also some kind of German, and it's all really tough. But that's what I like about language. It's never the same. It's alive, so it changes all the time, and you can make different words and new words, and well, without language, living would be very boring. Well, that sounds like Swedish or something, or, or at least a northern country. Anyway, I'm gonna make myself some new coffee. Don't be bothered by the noise. It's just the sound of joy. It's from the song. Yeah, well, I don't know the song, but it seems like an interesting language, although I don't know it. Lower anywhere, nope. That would be nice if we could. Alright, so what should we do? Well, w once we inherit Provence and Lorraine, I think we've pretty much united France. Guess we should get Avignon, the papal state. And then we really have it all. We're allied to Siena and Genoa. Interesting. Interesting. Let's build a spy network, gain a claim on there. Though Provence already has, so we could just take it. Alright, let's check. To wait a little while. Yes. If we declare war, Shena and Genoa will join in. Well, Genoa ain't that big, but yeah. And Shena's down here ain't that big either. So, if I go to war with the Papal State and Genoa enters. Will all of his Trade League members enter or not? Ah, Commander, you added me to your friend list in Steam. That's nice, thank you. I hope you all heard my question. So will these enter the war? I don't think so, but... Or maybe, so... Because if they don't, I'll just declare war. Kick the Papal State. And get... Oh, I will accept, I will accept. I'll do that after the stream so I can just go to, to Steam and then and accept. Of course I accept. You people are my best friends! Sorry about that, just had to do that. Alright, let's save up a little money and then we will get in.
I could of course ask for a contribution. That's a lot of money. Perfect. And we can send in a new guy. Perfect. One, two, three, four. Almost four done. Fifth coming up. He will be done faster than us, but it's okay. We have Flemish rebels. Why will we have Flemish rebels? Ah, in Calais. Stop being rebels. Be nice to me. I am nice to you. Right, let's put him up there for a little while. So, I think we should declare war then. Take Avignon for my friend. Let's go. Alright, it's just a little war. We'll see. Would be nice if we could gain a bit from this war. Though I should also start working on a decent fleet. Let's build five ships. Take long enough to gain a decent fleet, so... Never can start early enough. Trade efficiency will go up, that's nice. Well, marriage ended, well, then we'll just get in one. Got a new queenie. We can stop, because we're already at war with the purple state. Let's continue that. Because his army. Mm, decent size. If we put them all in one province, we could have a problem. He won't, I know, but... Alright. Come on. Get that province. It's also level 10 military-wise, so... Keep this army as well. So he will get down there. We've won the seats of Avignon, which is nice. Now let's chase his armies. Let's put everyone in, slow it down a little. Ooh, get in. Get in, this is our chance. Get in. One perfect, but we can't move any further. Too bad, but well, we can capture that province, and maybe he already wants to make peace. No, oh, we want Avignon. Does he want to give me cherry access? Yes. It's really nice of him. Can I now get to him? Oh. Do you want to give me military access? Yes! You are oh so nice. Oh, that's not a real problem. Should, however, make them like us a bit more. Let's improve relations. So, let's sheet down that province and then get in. Salt and a burning basket and first aid. Nice. Well, you have a nice dinner or whatever. It's dinner time here, so you eat well. You need it. And well, we'll see you later. Today or another day. Thanks for being here. It was real nice again. As always, when you are here. Get a better deck. Let's check. Because if I get a new idea group, I want the one with the colonist. That's... Alright. So... We can just get this better deck then. Extra settler growth, that's perfect. 